Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So today I'd like to answer the question, should you be buying refinement points now before module 22? Because with module 22, we get an entire enchantment rework. No longer are they slotted in our gear. They are now in this unique section here. And you can see we're going to have 10 of these 1,500 item level enchantments, which you get to mythic. And we'll also have a combat enchantment instead of both a weapon and armor enchantment. And just one companion enhancement, which is equivalent of your rune stones, 1,500 item level. Now to get these things upgraded, it gets seriously expensive you can see with just upgrading from green to blue it's going to cost you a hundred thousand refinement points already then to get from blue to purple it costs you 200,000 refinement points and then to purple to legendary it's 300,000 and you can guess it yes it's 400,000 from legendary to mythic meaning upgrading each enchantment from all the way green to mythic costs you a million refinement points. Yeah, and if you have 10 of those slots, as we can see, we have here eight, four offensive, four defensive, one utility and one bonus, that's 10 enchantments there, excluding the combat and the companion enhancement, you already need 10 million refinement points to be able to get that set upgraded. And then for your legendary combat enchantment, let's say we upgrade our soul shield, we can see upgrading from legendary to mythic is the same as before, 400,000 refinement points. And that will be exactly the same for the companion enhancement as well as you can see another 400,000. So how much is that total? Let's say you're to get green enchantments and upgrade them all. Well, that's 10 million just for the eight slots plus another 800,000 for the combat and companion enhancement, which you'll get on legendary. You can get it on green as well, then, then upgrade, and that'll be another million, meaning you need maximum of 12 million refinement points to upgrade everything. However, we are getting free. We are getting a bunch of free refinement points for module 22. Now, this will depend on the artifacts you have upgraded along with your artifact equipment. Depending on how many you have upgraded in the past, you will get compensated for the exact amount of refinement points you have spent. So let's have a quick look on an alternate character where we didn't really upgrade much equipment. We can see we have a bunch of epic ones. We've even filled up the refinement points there. And you can see this other pieces of gear here. Now these mythic gear, which we actually couldn't upgrade, we just straight up obtained it on mythic, do not contribute to giving you refinement points back. And artifacts will also give you that. So we go and jump on the preview server and we can see with this entire enchantment change we get those bonus enchantments just for seven days we'll also get a bunch of refinement points we're now at 1.825 million and we can see on the live server that this character only has 142,000. so we got a massive boost there of nearly 1.7 million refinement points and the exact math for this exact exchange we can see on this excel document you can see these are my artifacts i have five blue ones four purple and one mythic and you can see that from looking on the live server that here's our one mythic and you can see these will be considered as blue because i filled them with the maximum amount of refinement points already so you will get compensated back for that amount you've spent so they'll be considered the equivalent of blue since we've already spent the refinement points to get them upgraded this eye of lathander will be considered as purple and again looking at the sheet you can see we've had four purple one mythic and that adds up to just over 500,000 refinement points back that we would gain and with the artifact equipment we have seven purple pieces and four legendary pieces and that gives us 1.1 million refinement points back again that's just looking at these weapons these would be considered legendary because basically i filled the refinement points these are considered purple i've also filled the refinement points and then we have this bunch here as well with the tower of the mad mage set there finally on legendary and that gives us a total of 1.8 six six million refinement points in compensation for this character now that's not a lot and you can see the character total should be at about 1.8 million there's slight error in the math they're not sure exactly what's giving that teeny bit of extra refinement points perhaps i missed something but it's a rough estimate and you can see my point anyway 
But with having to upgrade these enchantments to Mythic, that's spending 12 million refinement points. We did no way get enough to compensate us to get these upgraded, meaning on this character, I, yes, I would need to go on the auction house and purchase a bunch of refinement gems and to find them up or to go farming for myself to get them as well. Now, if we switch over to my newly copied main character, this paladin as it is on live with all of this gear, all of those artifacts that I've upgraded in the past, how much compensation do we get in return? Well, let's have a look. You can see I'm now sitting on 27.7 million refinement points, albeit I've definitely made a mistake because I've went and purchased my about 11 million refinement points before module 22 came about and this refinement point compensation arrived. I had purchased my refinement points early to make sure I'd have this 11 million. Spent about 1.5 million astral diamonds to get it. Uh, probably a bit less since I made sure to only buy it when it was nice and cheap. And you can see with the amount of artifacts and artifact equipment that I have upgraded on this character, I'm getting massive amounts of compensation. And looking at this sheet here, we can see the exact amounts that we're gaining. You can see with regards to artifacts, we have two on purple, six on legendary, and 19 and a half on mythic. Now I'm considering the 0 0.5 because one of those artifacts we can see only has half of the refinement points filled in it, this symbol of air. And that gives us already 10.6 million refinement points in compensation, already enough to basically allow me to upgrade all my enchantments from green to mythic. And then with the artifact equipment as well, you can see I have one on blue, one on purple, and 25 on legendary. And that gave us 5.8 million refinement points back in compensation, giving us a total of 16.48 million refinement points total in compensation just for this enchantment change. And so our character total is nearly 28 million refinement points. And having a look on the live server, yes, that is indeed true we're at 27.7 million refinement points so we can see there that's the amount we're getting back so i'm not going to have any problem on my character to get these enchantments upgraded to get these replaced out these temporary legendary ones to our new green and blues and finally upgrading them to mythic like we did with this character and that gives us a whole bunch of item level and we can see we can nearly get up to like 80,000 item level if i max out everything and even get the new gear so again the cost to upgrade a full set of enchantments from green to mythic is going to cost you 12 million total refinement points to go from green to mythic in all of those 12 slots that's four offensive four defensive one utility one bonus one combat and one companion has been 12 total green to mythic is 12 million refinement points the ideal scenario though is you get a bunch of these blue boxes by trading in your enchantments that you have already however you could sell them and then upgrade green ones instead instead since the price of upgrading green enchantments are actually cheaper right now than to exchange and get blue ones straight away but that is not true for those combat enchantments where you're best off just getting them on legendary through the, ex through the exchange and then upgrading them once to the mythic that's the companion enhancement and also the combat enchantment there you get both on legendary the rest of the max you can get is on blue which i then recommend actually getting on green from the sages shop for only a hundred thousand astral diamonds that will depend though on how many cold wards you have and how many bound enchantments you may have, which you can't sell anyway. Yes, you can trade in bound enchantments for unbound ones through this new module 22 exchange, which is pretty neat, especially if you use the module 16 exchange and got a bunch of bound enchantments for nice and cheap, which I did. And I started the game around module 15, at least when I got to end game around then. Before that, I was just casually playing. 
So again, hopefully this was somewhat insightful and helpful to you guys as whether or not you need to purchase refinement points before module 22. I'll leave a link in the description to the document. You can plug in exactly the amounts of artifact equipments and the artifacts you have and at what rank. Keep in mind, if you fill them with refinement points, they'll be considered the rank above. So if you have a purple one and you filled it with refinement points, then it will be considered legendary. Plug that in and you can see exactly how many refinement points you'll get back in compensation. Many of you older players, this is not going to be a problem and you're not going to have to buy any refinement points. And that being said, you probably have a, a backlog of refinement points on your characters anyway, because all you do is upgrade stuff with it. Otherwise, I definitely recommend purchasing your refinement points at a reasonable state. You should be able to get 10 million refinement points in less than 1.5 million astral diamonds. However, the more people that try to buy it, that'll just jack up the prices and we'll end up with very expensive refinement points, but we'll see where it goes. Again, hopefully this somewhat helps you guys. And if I present as well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. See you guys around. Goodbye for now.